Hey everybody, I should say hello my Flosstube friends. It's time for a special episode and I am bringing you a special episode of me unboxing a Black Needle Society special edition box. So spoiler alert on this video, do not continue to watch if you have ordered this not received it yet, or if you have not opened yours yet and you're waiting for whatever reason. I can't wait. It just came. It's still cold from being outside and I'm going to open it. Yay! So I'm going to flip you around, piece this, this together. So again, I will say this is a spoiler alert for the Black Needle Society Lost in Austin retreat box. So this goes along with a digital retreat that will be in February. So I'm excited to show you what came in this box. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So I hope you like my super professional setup. So we've got our awesome Black Noodle Society branded box with the retreat in a box graphics for Lost in Austin edition. Stitchy Magic packed up just for you. So let's see what is in this rather large box. So the first thing we have, oh my goodness, I'm already like so excited. We have some literature about the Black Needle Society lost in Austin. There are spoilers inside. Um, I will flip class the spoilers so I can show you. There's something about a note from the Society. There's Katie and Laura. And then we have currently available Autumn and Stars Hollow. So I ordered mine today because I am a subscriber, but this will be available tomorrow, February the 9th, I believe through February 28th or until they are sold out. So, and then on the back, you have your Lost in Austin Black Needle Society photo challenge. And then some pictures of folks who have opened awesome things. The, um, these spotlights are all from date with my stitching. So let's see what's in here. Let's start here. Oh, what is this? Oh, I think it has something to do with tea made in China. So let's see how I do with this one handed setup because I did not pull out my tripod or anything else. Okay. I'm going to pause for a minute, open this, and then I'll show you. Okay, so I'm dying over here over the teacup and saucer set. On the inside it has, but indeed, I would rather have nothing but tea. J-A. Look at how pretty that is with the gold on the inside. Possibly too pretty to use. So I'm going to repack this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I repacked that just nicely. So let's see what's next. We have this tin. Mind you, when I open this box, it smells amazingly of lavender. So this is the Literary Tea Collection Simpson and Vale Jane Austen Black Tea Blend. So awesome. We've got us some um, loose leaf tea. Black tea, spearmint, lavender flowers, and vanilla flavor. And it smells like lavender. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, very cool. Let's see what else is in here. So we have a little, the Dashwoods, English Tea Rose and Spring Rain. This is a Wick Wish Solid Perfume. Very cool. Let's see. Oh, that smells wonderful. I'm not a huge, like scents can tend to bother me if they're too strong. That is not too strong at all. Oh my goodness, what is in this little bag? Okay, we're gonna have another clip here. Hold on one second. Okay, so in that super cute little satiny bag is some beautiful handmade soap. Looks like C. It's called the, it's from North Anger Soaps, North Anger Soapworks, and at C, bar soap for the Austin Addict. And then it says, Jane Austen Persuasion, Sea Wind. None of us want to be in calm waters all our lives. Persuasion. And it has some details about the ingredients. And it smells wonderful. Wonderful. I wish there was smell-o-vision on this because this smells wonderful. All right, hang tight. I'm going to put this back in the pouch. I'll be right back. Okay, so next up in the box, the next thing I pulled out is some awesome Lady Dot Creates um, lace, 100% cotton lace, the Black Needle Society Mrs. Bennett's lace. Oh, I love it. That's so awesome. That will be so nice to finish something with kind of a little grungy. Oh, I like it. Very cool. All right. So let's see if I have to do another clip or I can pull something out. 
Okay, so we've got a little pouch. Not sure what for, but we shall see. Don't think there's anything inside. Nope, it's empty, so let's see what else we got. All right, so then we have a neat little, usually this is an indicator of floss. Well, it does in fact say specialty floss. It's on this beautifully embossed paper, um, little envelope. So let me pull out what we have here. Oh, it's Forbidden Fiber Co. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. So we've got some Forbidden Fiber Co. So we've got Lizzie's Laughter, which is beautiful. We've got Anne's Constancy. Oh, that's so pretty. We've got Emma's Good Intentions. Oh, that's pretty. We have Catherine's Gothic Inclinations. Ooh. We have Marianne's Broken Heart. And lastly, we have Fanny's Friendship. These are beautiful, beautiful. You know I love my Forbidden Fiber Co. yarns, um, and I have one of their flosses, but these are so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, I love them. So pretty. All right, let's dig a little deeper and see what else we've got. Let's see what this is. It looks like a pouch. I will be right back while I unpackage this without the cream. I was right, it is a pouch and it's by an awesome company called Out of Print. Um, I am actually familiar with this company. Um, one of my dear friends uh, owns a independent bookshop and she has often had shirts and tote bags by Out of Print. And so this is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. It's a canvas bag. I cannot wait to put a project in here. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna put this to the side and I will be right back with the next item. Oh my gosh, this box is so good, guys. Okay, I'm dying. So the next thing I pulled out is a heartstring samplery chart. This is really friends, the Catherine Moreland's sampler. And it says, there is nothing I would not do for those who are really my friends. Look at that house. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Model mostly stitched with one thread over two. There is a tiny amount of over one on the faces of the people. It's on graham cracker fabrics with some weeks. Oh, and some of the forbidden fiber. Awesome. Yay. Okay. And DMC conversion included. Very cool. Oh my goodness. I love this chart. So pretty. Unique sampler for sure. All right. Next up. Oh, how cool. We have some floss tags. And from what I can tell, these might be to put the flosses on. So let me pause this, open them up so we can see each of them because I am guessing this is Katie's artwork. I will be Okay, right. so I looked at the spoiler card for this because I wanted to credit it correctly. So we have Emma Woodhouse. We have George Knightley. Harriet Smith. Robert Martin. Jane Fairfax and Frank Churchill. And the literature says these are Emma's Sweetheart Floss Cards designed by Ellie Goldwyn. They're inspired by Emma's sometimes failed matchmaking. They've included an exclusive set of character art of some of our favorite couples. They will hold on your threads for the next project. These are super high quality. I love them. I'm kind of really in a like floss card kick and these are awesome. These are like little pieces of artwork. I love them. Okay, guys, all I can say is, holy whoa, this is a gigantic bag. <laughs> I can't even get it all in my frame. So it has some of the books, Love and Friendship, Emma, Pride and Prejudice, North Anger Abbey, and then it's got the person, be it gentleman or lady, who has not pleasure in a good novel, must be intolerably stupid. Love it. So giant bag, I mean giant bag, like it's huge. Like it fills up the entire bottom of the box and it was folded. All right, so there's one more item in this box that I need to open and it's the needle minder, yay! Exclusive needle minder. So let me open this little tiny package and show you the awesomeness that is this needle minder. O-M-G's. This is amazing. It says, obstinate, headstrong girl. Is that not beautiful? Like, I could see myself wearing this a la Michelle G. Bendy Stitchy and wear it like a brooch. 
This is awesome. Or putting it on my tote bag. I love it. Knocked it out of the park. This box is incredible. Guys, if you have not ordered a Black Needle Society box, what are you waiting for? Please go order order something. Tomorrow when the Stars Hollow box launches, go order it. It's totally worth it. This is amazing. Incredible stuff. And new companies. Oh, it's so good. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to flip you around so I can give you a proper goodbye. Okay, guys. I know that was totally frantic and frenetic. Um, but this box is incredible. I don't know what my favorite thing might be out of this box. The teacup and saucer is amazing. The tea itself. The awesome chart. The flosses. Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. Look at those. So pretty. The floss tags. I love. Oh my gosh. The needle minder. Totally going to rock that. So it's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The gigantic. In case you were curious, how gigantic? The gigantic, won't even fit in my screen, bag. I love it. <laughs> that was close up. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me for this special edition. And I will say so long, Stitch Well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dirty nightstand. And I'll see you on Friday in my regular floss tube video. You just thought I, so you just thought I was leaving. But here's the thing. I just was reading the spoiler card. And taking the big giant bag out of the bag would have been good. Because then I could have shown you that it has handles. A.K.A. it's an awesome tote bag. Tote bag. It's a tote bag. No way. This is awesome. I'm so excited about my new tote bag. All right, this time I really am leaving, unless there's some additional information I need to share with you about this awesomeness.